Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone, and this is NBA 2K22 on 2K Sports. Hey everyone, welcome back to another NBA. As we're ready for the next matchup, along with me and Mephone, it's turning out to be a nice, nice day for another NBA matchup. That's right. I expected that the March Madness is coming close, and we are ready to determine who will be heading towards the Final Four. Final Four teams will never happen with those best plays of the game, and it might be happening one time or even more. There might be something going on in between those uh, college teams for different divisions. It's very tough. We're not sure who's the best, but last year it was Baylor that won the whole thing in 2021. But for this year, we'll find out who will be heading to the Final Four at the next location of New Orleans at the Mercedes-Benz Mercedes Superdome. That is correct. We also expected right now, we got a great matchup going on for you. And we have the next one in the battle, ready to take it on. The Portland Trail Blazers are facing on against the other team that already had done the All-Star, if you checked out the last video, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Those teams could be the only one that we need to see them win. It is very hard how well they play. We're not sure how are they going to keep it up. We're going to see what happens at that point. Now, we have always talked about it before that John Collins and other guys are already out. Same thing with Chris Paul. But the next player who is out of the game is Damian Lillard. He is not returning to the game at this point. And he has just left the building with the team. It is very hard and considering his uh, purpose stats, the uh, Portland Trail Blazers are deciding to re re team up and regroup with uh, Damian Lillard. But his, but his uh, um, conference on this call may be very tough and difficult to say if he will return to the game or not. And same thing with the other team that goes with the Cleveland Cavaliers. And there might be too much to go with that one, Colin Sexton. We haven't seen Colin Sexton playing on here, but is there another way that Colin Sexton can help out with the team? Well, there might be another one going by. But if there isn't any choice for Colin Sexton to try to like keep an eyes on the team with the Cavs, he might be out of the game and might be changed up to the other location. Now let's wrap things up here. We're about to do something a little bit more different here because we're getting a little bit a uh, little bit rowdiness out there. And there might be a lot going on in between this Cavaliers. We haven't seen them win the game. What do you think? Well, they're gonna have to like try to win it on. They haven't won since five seasons ago. And this is a very difficult strength out there. All teams, they just lost without Kevin Lowe. And even, of course, the uh, the player that all talked about it before is Kyle, Kyle Korfer. It's very, very tough to see how this turned out. Here are the starting lineups for Portland Trail Blazers. We have Ken Bernie Simons, CJ Ellaby, Josh Hart, Justice Winslow, and Drew Ubanks. On the other side for the Cavaliers, we have Asterius Garland, Isaac Okoro, Laurie Markman, Markinen, if you translate it correctly, Evan Mobley, and Jared Allen, the best center of the guard position. And now we're about to take you back to Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. That is correct. We have it back in your and we'll see if Cavs make a win or another defeat against the Portland Trail Blazers. Let's send you over to Cleveland and start the game. We are here at the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. The Cavs and Trail Blazers. There's a lot of games that we are showing here for tonight. I expect this is going to be a very nice matchup here as we have a look at Jared Allen. This season turned out to be just like that. 16.1, 68 percentage. And for last five games, the new record was being lifted. 83% of his effort. 
right, let's check out the starting lineup. And with that one being said, we can't wait to see if Jared Allen can try to face things off right down here. Key matchups are right down there or below. And a key matchup right down here is Garland and Simons. Portland head coach is Sean St. Phillips. We're heading to this game and get started right at the moment. Those guys are ready for a position. The ball is tipped. And Cavs wins the tip off here. And we are ready to go here at Cleveland. Let's get rowdy. Here's Garland. He will be starting here for tonight. He will move right over to Mobley. Marketing, trying to go back toward it. Okuro finds Allen, shoots over up. And that's a good rebound on Eubanks. That'll be the first rebound for Portland. Driving attack. Hart goes with a dunk. He slams up there really early for this season. And when this defensive comes in for a breakdown, this is going to be what is going to be a problem. If Eubanks can't find anybody, that would be hard for them to tell. Garland outside. Fates. Back to Markkinen. Okuro. Finds the cutter inside. Rebounded by Mobley. And he will take a bucket after the rebound. What a play here for Mobley. It's just a little bit of good impact. Scores even up. Simons for three. He doesn't hit on that one. That will be Markkinen's first rebound of the game. Okuro, right around it. His shot went off. That's a Ellaby with the rebound. Ellaby's got a good one here. He might have to show him some of a little respectful if he wants to get it that far. Ellaby up. Rebound is off. And that will be in between Mobley and Ellaby. Market in the corner right now with 420 to go. He will move over to Garland. Back to Okoro. Okoro drives. Short. Went a good rebound for Ellaby, and they're trying to keep the, keep it alive. Ellaby's showing a lot of uh, a lot of rules here in this game. He really wants to stop the pressure. Simons, great shot. That's an assist by by Ubens. That'll be his first assist of the game for Portland. Great pass here. What a great what a great look on open offense. Allen pushes it. Forward in the paint, and that will be his first bucket for the night. Garland really haven't seen that Allen was trying to pick him up, but he really wanted it. Simons on Garland. Trying to move over here. Eubanks, her heart. Seven to shoot. They got to try to find a force to open it up. Eubanks, shot over Garland. And that shot's no good. That's Okoro with the rebound. Still score even. No lead just yet. But let's find out what happens now. Okoro. Free pointer for Markkinen. That's no good on that one here. That'll be rebounded by Ubanks. Ellaby will have to try to go in another, another direction. Simons. Hart for three. And no good here. That's another miss by Portland. Portland Trailblazers are having a tough time already. They really can't be opening here on offense. They got to try to, like, come up with a different plan. You do not want to go out there that far. Okoro for three. Short on a rim. That will be Eubanks with the, with the rebound. Okoro on cold now. He has to find some help here. Winslow, great pass by, by Ellaby. First time out is called by Cavs with 2.16 to go. A lot of good, good call out there. They really got to pressure it up here in the first quarter. All right, the Cavs timeout, it's 6-4 run. New changes here for the Cavs and the Trailblazers as Kevin Love is not in the starting lineup. He is in the secondary lineup. And here is the Eastern Conference standing as we are looking forward here. Cleveland doing really well so far. How do you, what do you think, B-Phone? I think Cleveland is coming back in the playoff game since 2018. We have never seen them play before, but I think this is going to be a best time for them to keep it alive. Kevin Love, no good on the layup. 
Two minutes remaining in the first quarter finds McLemore. McLemore sends up for the three-pointer. That will be up ahead by five. Five-pointer. Ben McLemore sends it like just like a better play out there. Wade up. Shots good. That's a great pass here by Garland. And here down to like oh, by three. Wiseman up. Winslow, I'm sorry. Nope, it's Bledsoe. Bledsoe gets his first bucket here. Here's Lavert. Lavert drives. And that's good. That's a, also a first bucket here for the Cavs. Lavert showing like he's done it before here since that time. I think Lavert might be setting things up here to give it a go. And offensive breakdown comes on to Clap Cavaliers. If 103 remaining. Lavert. Here he comes, that drive is in. That's a second bucket for LeVert. Let's do that one again. LeVert's got a good pressure out there. Rondo on Bledsoe. Open look, Brown. Brown missed the three-pointer. It's Love with the rebound. Wade, right to LeVert. Here's Rondo for three. Rebound. And it's picked away by Hart. Hart's got a good assist, good uh, rebounds here. Trying to look fast. Knocked off the dunk! Oh my goodness! What is this? That play, I have never seen that dunk. It was so loose. And wow, what a good drive for Rondo. That dunk went very loose out there, but wow. <laughs> I never seen that coming here. Love was just watching it. I don't know what just happened out there. That was like a that was like a worst play I have ever seen. The ball came loose. Three seconds. Rondo over Love. And that's no good. That ends the first quarter. Tight game here so far. It is 13 to 12. 13 to 12. Jeez, we're gonna have to come back to this. Second quarter is coming up after this. My son witnessed the opportunity of me winning at a later age in my career. I won when I was 21, but coming full circle many, many moons later, you know, my son's nine now at the time, so he was able to witness me win a championship, and that's probably the greatest hit I've ever had in basketball. On his ability for Rajon Rondo, we've already have talked to this one before. His team on his typical strength with LA Clippers this season, last season, and this was happening here in a playoff game. He was trying to configure if he wants to go with the, the different plan. But it doesn't really help him out if he wants to give it another try to go from here. But right now, the NBA has contracted him to go to the Cavs. Eric Bledsoe, what a great drive he has done so far. Counted and won with the foul. And Eric Bledsoe will head to the free throw line shooting one. Not to mention before that he has played last season with the Milwaukee Bucks. What's your take on this one here? The take for Eric Bledsoe, he has gotten a great dynamic trio as he has brought something up. But when his team was trying to configure him, he wants to go see how well he's doing. But that's a lot of like a lot of, uh, a lot of ability that he has done so far. But for sometimes, he really does it all. Eric Bledsoe is one of the best players here in Milwaukee Bucks. But right now, we certainly missed him. Rondo, trying to find a look over, and he finds Wade. Fates, three for Levert. Rebound is off, and Bledsoe will take the cover. Bledsoe, he really has that much more important, but he really wanted to take it all. But he didn't really want to hesitate that much, so he decided to do his big another one. Osman avoids the screen. Bledsoe drives. And nice D by Osman. That will be his first rebound of the game. Wade trying to attack it. Osman outside. Bounce pass to Love. Fades up. And welcome back, Kevin Love. He's got a first bucket here for this one. Kevin Love. He is on strong and mighty. He knows that rule. Fade and go for the shot. Bledsoe on Rondo. With a shot. Rebounded by Love. That will be number two. 
And this is what he really helps him out. What a play. Nice squeeze here for Brown as he takes his rebound. Without the foul call on Portland. Bledsoe for three. Rebound it and got it back. Rondo with the rebound. Now they turn it up the other way and oh, that's not good. He went out of bounds. He should have just stopped the clock. Well, now changing the uh, result here, there'll be three players sitting out and three players checking in. And Wade is checked in. Or Wade is checked out. Mobley is checked in. Blazers trail by, Blazers lead by two. Fades the jump. And he makes a shot. That will be a number two pointer for Ubanks. And Simons will take the assist here. Levert in the corner, trying to avoid the out of bounds. Osman in the corner too. Levert, screen coming. Goes in, and what a D here. That's a great help here on, on defense. Didn't really want to hesitate. And another bucket here for Portland. This turns out to be 20 to 14 run. Back over to Rondo. Osmond outside. Finds Love. Love inside. Finds the bucket one and he's got another one. Two buckets for Love. No problem on the two pointer. Simons trying to find a look out there. Three pointer. And he made it through in and around. Wow. I thought that was off the target, but he had saved it. The next timeout is called out by Cavs. With 3.05 remaining, it's 23-16. We'll be right back. And we're back on the court right now, as Allen will be checking in for, for Love. Garland will be helping to uh, change the players. Two players checked out, Johnson and Ellaby, or just switching things around. Allen finding Markinen. Markinen, Allen coming inside right now, trying to try to avoid the foul. Mobley, Okuro, four to shoot. He goes up and he makes a shot. That will be Okuro's first bucket for the game. And Mobley just got a good assist here. He really wants to help him out. If they could try to help him, take him or get rid of it. Allen with a, with a strong D, but the three for Johnson is off and out bound. Marketing going the other way. It's only 2.20 to go. Garland, Marketing for three. And he gets it in there. Marketing gets a first three pointer, and Garland with the assist. That will be up by two. Simons on Garland. Two minutes remaining in the first half of the game. It's Winslow against Mobley. Screen rejected. And a good, solid performance run on Winslow. That will be another one for Portland. Winslow has it all covered up here. You can't make a mistake already. And you can't just stick around. When Winslow gets in there, you got to go fast. Okoro in the corner. Marking it out, steps up, and a bad pass. That will be Winslow's steal. First turnover on Cleveland. Simons, and stepped out of bounds. That will be the first turnover on Portland. Checking out Simons. His best performance run for February, the last month of the game for this year, 23.7. Turned out to be his run that he had. Absolutely. I think that everyone's going to love it, too. Morgan in the corner finds Allen. Allen. Shot. Double man. Okoro for three. Good! Allen takes an assist, and they're up by, and they're coming down by one. Ellaby on Markinen. Johnson on Okoro. Allen up. Solid D, gets it back, turn to be his left run, and he subbed out of bounds again. That's Cavs ball. What a best play here. That turned out to be Mobley trying to reject it off the course, and that is your mobile one block of the game. 
Mobley, he's doing like a better, better playing position out there. He really has it all. They wanted to keep it on here to go for the second time in a row. Just about 41 seconds to play here for the first half. And Garland, oh my! Garland gets the dunk, and they have the lead up by one. Garland really shows out his pressure. He really want, really didn't want to make a mistake. Bledsoe, out of control. That turned around the other way. Okoro with the ball. Pass over to Mobley. 15 seconds to play in the first half. Allen trying to avoid the double man. Garland, screen, helps him out. Five seconds to shoot. Rebounded, fades, looks over a pause meter. Can he make it? Oh! My goodness, Markkinen makes the buzz beater. I'm telling you now, Markkinen really applies it. Now he does. Let's go over to Alley. Just a quick second, folks. Be right back. No one calling Alley, but let's have a first half of the recap of Cavs and the Blazers. Here they are. The first quarter for the Cavaliers was fairly even. Some good action during the period, as it was just a one-point game at the end of one. They had a very good second quarter, currently holding a four-point advantage at halftime. Kenny, what's your take on Cleveland so far? The passing is what kept the offense rolling. The communication has been tremendous. Guys are working as a unit and not as individuals. They've got to repeat that kind of ball for them in the second half. Jack, how do you think Portland played? They need to play a better energy on the game. These guys are going to sleep on that. Anyway, first half stats are on the board. I'm sure they hear it in the locker room. Maybe they'll come out angry. And that's it. Time to send you back out to the court. And we're ready for the second half of this game, as this turns out to be the four-point lead for the Cavs. And let's talk about Markkinen, folks. Markkinen is the only first layer that applies here from the Bulls, but gets transferred to the Cavs. What's your take on Markkinen? Markkinen has a lot of appliments on his, on his performance run. When he has a lot more better, he, he changes here quickly. But he doesn't take the uh, position if he goes from the other lane to pick it on that side. As we're ready for the second half, we start all fueled up and ready to go. Meanwhile, there's a lot of determination here for Winslow. Keeps it on coming, but the players have it back. And I have one quick to say. Marlboro Mustangs of boys basketball have won the sectional finals of Group 4. And they are the champions for the first time. I agree with you. The team that we all always talk about here, they beat Trenton Central for the first. And every other game... Last two years, South Brunswick, and then and then Mass won. I mean, come on, what's the deal? This is always important how they play. And there might be some high school players that are going into college, and then if they have it all to manage it, they will head back into the NBA if they have a good talents. Oh, what a great play here for this one, and that will be Mobley with another bucket. Mobley has it all covered here, but forgot to say about that. I think we might be seeing three in a row for, for Marlboro Mustangs. We want to wish them the best of luck. And for your high school there, team, you Mr. Setup Beast. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Dunk lost again on the other side. One for the first half and one for the second half. This is crazy. I know it is. I don't know what to say about this, but that's... Let's just keep on coming. Finds Markkinen and rips it around. That's Markkinen with a little drive. And Allen with the assist. Allen's got a good communication. Good pass here for Markkinen. They're trying to keep an eye on the prize. Finding over. Hart on Markkinen. And try to keep it in. It's rejected by Mobley. Mobley with the first block, and they turn around the other way. Allen, 
Trying to survey the offense to defense. Mobley. Markinen trying to go for the applying grind. Finds Allen. Steps it up. Shot off the target. And up with the shot. And a rebound is loose by Allen. Doesn't have it back. Simons on Garland. Winslow around and oop. And that's a goaltending on Mobley. They will have to count the bucket here for Winslow. New changes are being here on the court as Ben McLemore and the other player that we talked about it before, Brown. Brown and McLemore could be the only two guys here that wants to play here well in offense. But the other two, Levert and Love, they are, could be the only option to take it from here. Love finds Okoro. Back to Love. Mobley for three, knocks it off and it doesn't go in that time, going in and out. Ubanks pass to McLemore. Simons in the paint, passes up to Hart. Levert on the cover, screen rejected, but now it's on him. Five to shoot, Love has it back, it's a turnover on Portland. Levert coming in, drives across the paint, and they are putting it up by 10. Levert's got a good transition out here. Six points in the game. I mean, come on. I think he's doing really well. Simon's taking a shot. That's going to be in there for two. It's on a three-point line. Simon's really has it all covered out. Without Damian Lillard, we may not have any other players that could be legendary due to COVID. And they could be changing if they go back on court whenever they can. Two minutes to play here for the third quarter as Love back to Garland. Okoro for three. And another three point bad target here for Okoro. Simons on Garland. Screen, got him caught. Love going back out of the way. Simons gets a drive in the paint, and they're back up by six. They really got to get back in the game. They can't waste any more time. They got to do it right away. Garland. Levert, back to Garland. Moves around. Up with the floater. Garland makes another bucket. That will be the number two. Garland's got it all covered out here. He might be going for another one if he can try to stop one. Eubanks on Love. Rebounded by Love. That's three rebounds in a game, and we're glad to see him back. Love, back to Garland. Garland up. Back to Garland. Oh, he really got spooked up. And not a chance for the foul, but the Garland makes the shot. That's six points in the game. Turn up, terrific. Brown makes a shot, and he will have to try to keep it up tight. Keeping it real is for Brown is really hard and simple. But you really can't let the air players get right around you. If they are right up on you, you gotta fix it. Garland for three. That's in there! Garland makes the three-pointer and extends up by 10. 20 seconds to remain in the third quarter and they're coming in by. Low jump move, but off cut short. It's Garland with the rebound. Love with the ball. Five to shoot. Garland trying to make it that better. And with the shot, they will have to leave the target here. 44 to 33. This might be a closeout for the fourth quarter. If the Cavs win it, we will get the first win of the game. I totally agree. Well, let's see how well they do if they can try to pick it back up. Third quarter is over. Fourth quarter coming up next after this. Here's your look at your State Farm Assistive game. And we're checking on the better player. I might be telling you this one. This is the reason why everybody was really looking for marketing. With Allen with the pass, they really had it dumped it out. No questions about him. He's really doing very hard, as much as he can do. Three quarters have gone in, and now 
down to the last quarter to go. Starting off with Rondo, he passes up to Allen. Allen finds Wade. Not the Wayne Wade, it's Wade. Allen. Right to Levert. Osmond for three. Rebounded, what a savior. Oh man, Allen gets it back. He saved it all. He says, I'm going for it. What a reach. Allen's like an only tough man on the center. I think he really goes for a, a change up plan. Bledsoe on Johnson. Back to Hart. Six on the shot clock. The three pointer will carry in for the deep read. Three in the, in the game, and they're down by 10. Again in a row, they have too many of those shots being wide up in the range. Flipping over is Levert. Now they're going to need to try to fix things up here. Five to shoot. Allen stepped out of bounds. That will be Portland Trailblazer ball with another turnover. And one more time with the Mobley rejection off the course. This take is just nothing. He really had it all. But that is the best play on defense that you can try to stop him with his run. Just under five minutes left here for the fourth quarter. As this all turned out to be just a just amazing not a game. <clears throat> but not for too long. Letso comes in the paint and drives it in the paint. That turns out to be another bucket. We're going down by eight. Four, 440 to go. Allen trying to look for four three. But not the time, he will pass off the weight. Allen, right to Rondo. Fades, fade again. Allen steps up. And another miss here by Cavs. That's a great defense how this turned out. When your player has on the defender, that's a great helper. Now, oh, what a smooth run here for Bledsoe, and they're down by six. They're coming in close by to make a hot neck trail. Levert. Right in, inside. Finds Allen. And a great pass by Levert. Allen with another bucket. That's eight points. And now this will call timeout on Portland with 3.49 remaining. And if you're all tuning in for the best highlights of the game for Marlboro Mustang Boys Basketball, we will stay tuned for the best highlights of every game. The back of the season and this season. It might be a turnout wonderful idea if you might put it in for the super cut. I think that everybody's gonna love it here too. And don't even mind folks, I, I will check the scores here for the quarterfinals and if they win or not, they will be heading to the semifinals and the state finals will be underway and if we make it that far we will head on to the tournament of champions that's a long way down it's a milestone milestone to go right in the game i mean this is not that easy but for our nba it's there's no uh, tournament of champions there anywhere it's just how way it goes and college basketball too acc tournament and SEC uh, tournament, tournament of the bracket, but there might not be anything going on. Everything is the same for college, but not for NBA. Lost the ball, it's Ellaby with the steal. Coming in the paint, Ellaby on Allen. And great passing rebound. He really had to help him out. That was a great hail. Help from the Cavs. Allen passes to Carlin. Carlin. Trying to fix him up a bit. Allen for three. Knocks it down. Allen makes a three-pointer. And they're up by 11. They surely nearly need to do that work. Hey, really got it done. Allen. Finds Winslow. Winslow, double man to try to figure it, but didn't happen. 
Five to shoot. Rechecked by Allen. And Allen gets the first block of this game for the fourth quarter. What a show, what a play. Allen really has it all. They really wanted to stop it. Oh! Are you kidding me? Allen just slams it crazy, and Cavs go wild. That's what they got to do. This is what everyone's really liking it so far. Man, I'm telling you this one here. Allen's like a pro. And a fadeaway shot for Eric Bledsoe will hand it in by. You can't let, let this uh, defender get away from you. Eric Bledsoe, he has a good eye in contact. Mobley in the corner finds Allen. Moves around the little first. With two minutes remaining in the fourth. Back to Garland. Five to shoot. Allen. Try to avoid the D. Open shot for Markkinen. Oh, he made the shot clock. Before the shot clock expired, he just got it. What a great help. What a great shot for Markkinen. Open man, no problem. Ran a great battle in between Portland and Cavs. Allen gets the ball to rebound it. Allen again. Fates. Right to Garland. Back to Allen. Moves over to Markkinen. Markkinen try to work their way around a bit. Mobley. Markkinen going in. He slammed it again. Markkinen hit unbelievable play moments. They are stoppable. Unstoppable play for Markkinen. We're glad to see him return in the game. And welcoming him to the Cavs. Drew Eubanks. Eubanks with a number two. And Garland will have to use their timeout for a minute and eight seconds to go. They will change the number of look on offense before the, before the game clock ends up for the regulation. And just a quick reminder about we only got two games left here. First, we have this Wizards versus the Mavericks. That will be happening with the coverage here for next Thursday of the game. And with the last game, it will be the Pistons playing against the LA Clippers at LA. That'll be at Crypto.com Arena replacing of Sable Center. It's a different changing name as we all definitely call it that one here because the uh, franchise names becoming to be come, becoming to be the least at that moment. It's very hard for them to give it another try. Well, they don't really have it all. They want to see how well they can try to handle it. But that might be hard to give them another try. And now let's have a let's have your look of New Balance Player of the Game. The New Balance Player of the Game goes to Jared Allen. Allen with the big man. He really knows how he can try to hang things off. With Allen, he's trying doing his hard work. He really had paid the price off of it. What a run for his show. We're just about 1.08 to go here in the fourth period. And with Cavs about to get standing on their feet, it comes down to a last minute in the game. Go Allen, drive, jump fade. Mobley, no problem. That's another two pocket for the Cavs. And Evan Mobley, he really has gotten a good, good transition. And Garland, what a great pass. What a play for Allen, another defensive great strategy. And now this turns around the other way. Here's Allen. Marking it on, that, on the drive. Backs out to Okoro. Mobley, five to shoot. Doesn't hit the run, and it turns around the other way. 20 seconds to play in the fourth quarter. Simons for three. That will be in there as they take it up with another advantage, but won't be enough to make the win. Garland with the ball. 10 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter, and that goes with an offensive foul. Okoro with the first foul. And now last change will be Portland and Cavs. Everybody's doing a great job here. Now with Cavs, they got a first win. Williams, try to break it freely. Brown, fade a free. No good. 
Cat wins the first game of the season and they're on the board. Without the players that we had, it's been like too hard since they tried to make them one up. I totally agree. This game was just an incredible season for the Cavs. And without playing LeBron James or everybody else, that's all it takes from here. You know, it's been a great competition out there in between the East Conference and a West Conference. It's another matchup here, taken from the other side. And now let's bring your three star players of the game. Starting with you, Meat Phone, who we have? Number three. Number three, this goes out with the, one of the contestants that turns out to be just like that. I never heard it before. This one was just in. It was Larry Markinen with a great pointage average, 12 points, 3 rebounds, and totally a 1 assist. Only put out a 1 dunk just like he had here in this game, but it didn't really pay the price off of it. With the buzz beater, that turned out to be just like that. Markkanen doing really well. Missing the Bulls. Well, they got a great average here for the Bulls for this season. If they could try to answer it back and try to get back in the playoffs. Let's head over to number two. Number two that we have here. Turned out to be just a little bit heavy in the topic below. But that was turning to be Anferny Simons with 12 points. Only two rebounds and three assists of each game. It didn't really turn out that long, but that really helped him out with his big surprise. Big look on the other side, but didn't really have it all. To try to fix the run without Damian Lillard. And let's go ahead over back to you, Mephone. Your number one take. Well, I guess the number one take is going to be very good call. That turns to be the best player, Jared Allen. Uh, just a great play. 13 points, one block. That turned to be a good, outstanding defense on his work. Only seven rebounds and three assists. What a great job that he had. And that is it for the game. I hope you all enjoyed the, the uh, matchup of the Cavs and Blazers. We will have more coming in your way for the last two matchups here in for the game of NBA 2K22 of Season 6. Then we will get to the postseason of the NBA playoffs and the finals along with the Eastern Conference Championship and a Western Conference Championship of the game. With that being said, me, phone, and I are gone. We'd like to thank you all for tuning in for this video and peace out everyone for as a while as the NBA 2K22 dial. This has been a presentation. And if you'd like to check out the previous video, go ahead and click down here below once the video is over. So, with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed your St. Patrick's Day. If it's getting close or not, or past, I, I'm sorry. There's no other choice I could have, have to tell you. But that's all there is. Well, don't worry. Everything will be alright. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's totally the truth. Anyway, we're going. Good night and Cavalier of the Cleveland, Ohio. And that is all we have. I'm out of here. See you next time.